This video is brought to you by Production Crate, your best solution for VFX elements, effects, 3D models, muzzle flashes, splashes, you name it. Basically, if you need it, Production Crate probably has it. Creating a space scene has always been a challenge for 3D artists. You can always rely on references and your eyes to see and produce the look, feeling, and composition that you are aiming for. But when it comes to making big scenes for outer space, you can only depend on images provided by NASA or other space-oriented environment art sources. That's why creating a masterpiece such as Star Wars was never an easy task. It is safe to say that in the last decade, creating space scenes has become less challenging, as there are a lot of assets and kits available out there in order to help you create whatever you imagine. And one of the very few places where you can find high-quality assets along with high-res space HDR eyes is Production Crate. Whether you are a movie creator, a graphic designer, or a 3D artist, Production Crate is the right place for you. This amazing website offers a wide range of creative kits, professional assets, and high-res textures for all types of movies, films, and 3D productions. We are talking about assets that are used by Hollywood movie productions and other professional filmmakers. On their website, you will find 10,000 plus creative assets used for VFX, motion graphics, sounds, royalty-free music, 3D models, materials, scripts and plugins, tutorials, VR environments, and a lot more. But let us focus on the space-related HDR eyes that are very rare to find. Production Crate offers the best high-quality HDR eyes of stratosphere and orbital space that can be found out there. This involves tens of 16K resolution HDR eyes that can be used to make any type of scene in the best possible quality. You can check them out under 3D and AR, Environment and Space. Or you can just click the link in the description of this video. And now, let's put some of these assets to use by building a small scene using some of the production crate assets in Blender. First of all, let's import some assets to the scene. Of course, we'll be using some of the new production crate space assets, HDR eyes, and models. I went with this HDR eye, but you can use whichever you like. There are a lot of options here, and you can get a lot of these for free. However, they will be in a lower resolution. For the models, you'll be using some of the high-quality detailed spaceships in the library, like the big space warship, which looks just amazing. Also, some of these smaller spaceships, space ladders, and this gas giant model. We'll also grab some of these lava rocks to make the asteroid field. Once you unzip all the assets, you will start building your scene by importing the models one by one into Blender. To import an OBJ model, go to File, Import, and pick OBJ. The imported assets should have textures applied automatically, which is really helpful. The scene we are trying to make here is a fleet trying to immobilize their forces, so I'm going first to apply the orbital HDR I number 11 and position the gas giant planet. One thing here to keep in mind is to get the scaling right. We are talking here about a cosmic scale, so it is good to keep these things as big as possible. You might need to change the clipping distance of your viewport and camera. To adjust the viewport clipping distance, you can find the option in the view tab in the M panel. Just crank up the in clipping distance to a big number. Select the camera and from the camera options, set the in clipping distance to the same number. Remember, anything outside of this clipping distance will not be rendered. Now it is a good time to start setting up the camera. Put your warship in the middle with the planet behind. Now we're gonna give the camera and the spaceship a subtle animation to add some dynamics to the shot. The camera is also gonna be panning toward the fleet, so set the keyframe at the beginning by hitting I on the keyboard, and choose location. If you want to animate the rotation like I'm doing here, you can pick the location and rotation. Now, go to the end of the timeline and move the camera to its final location and hit I again and set the keyframe there. For the spaceships, we're gonna animate the big one just slowly moving from the right to the left and we're gonna sprinkle a bunch of small ones around the big ships and even smaller fight jets that are moving faster. It is also a good thing to bring the uniformity of the movement by offsetting the animation so that not all movements are happening around the same time. For the distant planet, I try to emphasize the fact that it is far away by adding a dark side using the XYZ separate node. You can create a gradient from the left to the right, or top to bottom feed through the color ramp and when you plug that into the alpha channel, you will be able to control the visibility of the planet. Now, try hiding one side, probably the one opposite to the sun. In my case, I also duplicated the planet and scaled it up. 
and used a volume shader to add some atmosphere. For lighting, the HDRI is doing the most heavy duty, but I'm going to add the sun lamp with a power of 15 to the scene. Also, don't forget that you can rotate the HDRI image to line up exactly with your lighting. In my case, I want the sun to be coming from the left, so I'm going to rotate the high dynamic range image and the sun lamp accordingly. Now, duplicate the warship multiple times and add more fighter jets. You can actually go crazy here and even add multiple planets with a lot of spaceships, but we're gonna just stick with three in this example. Finally, you can render your animation, and it is always a good practice to render to an image sequence instead of a video. This is a lot more professional and easier to edit, and you will be able to resume if your rendering was interrupted. After some tweaking in the compositor, you can get something like this. And to show you how easy it is to use and incorporate production grade assets and elements into your project, here is another example where I just basically swapped the orbital HDRI with another one and added some scenery. So if you want to check out production crate and you want to see the whole arsenal of elements, fire, splashes, models, sound effects, free music, and everything else in between, you can follow the link in the description of this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.